Recently, many clients asked about plastic shell prismatic cells. Actually, plastic shell prismatic cell was very popular once, but there are better choices today. Let's check out along with the development of batteries. Cylindrical cell and cylindrical cell modules, plastic shell and aluminum shell prismatic cell, pouch cell and solid state cell. According to its size, cylindrical cell is divided into several types. Some popular types are 18,650, 26,650, 21,700 and other types. 21,700 is designed by Tesla to achieve higher energy density, reduce the weight of the vehicle and improve its performance. At present, 21,700 is the highest energy density and low cost of Li-ion battery that goes to mass production. And the 18,650 cell is currently the most widely used lithium battery. Since John B. Goodenough invented lithium-based batteries, Sony brought the cylindrical cell into market and greatly affects our way of living. And the 18,650 size is by far the most popular for cylindrical cells. The name 18,650 refers exclusively to its size of 18 mm in diameter and 65 mm in height. It's widely applicable in electric and mobile devices. The mainstream manufacturers use NCM as an ode material, while only a few other manufacturers use NCA instead. 18,650 cell characterizes highly mature technology and a high degree of automation at mass production. Many top manufacturers, including Samsung, LG, Sony, Panasonic, Sanyo and Lishan etc., has been producing cylindrical cells. And for its large volume of production, the consistency and capacity, internal resistance and voltage are easy to realize. However, 18,650 cell is very limited by its capacity, which is generally between 2 to 2.6 ampere hour per cell for mass production. The largest capacity cell currently is manufactured by Panasonic, which could reach 3.6 volts 3.6 ampere hour. With the development of EV and energy storage industry, larger capacity cells are becoming more and more popular. Some factories brought the battery module, which was assembled with several cells in parallel, into the market. Since then, the 3.6 volts 50 ampere hour module that was assembled with 20 pieces of 3.6 volts 2.5 ampere hour cell in parallel become the most popular battery module in Chinese market. And later upgraded to the initial model of prismatic cell, adding an outer plastic shell to the 18,650 battery module for insulation and offering only the anode and cathode interface for easy connection to end users. However, the assembly process increases production cost. To make more profit, factories invented the first generation of prismatic cell with a node and cathode materials directly inside plastic shell. However, this cell was replaced with aluminum shell prismatic cell sooner after it's accepted. We all know that batteries generates heat on charging and discharging. And high temperature would affect the performance of battery. Aluminum conducts away heat much faster than plastic. This is the main reason for the replacement. Aluminum prismatic cell was mostly made from lithium iron phosphate, which proved to be much safer and will not cause fire or explosion. Plastic prismatic cell was applicable for areas with big temperature differences. Since steam would condense on the surface of the aluminum at low temperature. Therefore, we'll take some time to talk more about the aluminum shell prismatic cell. Widely applicable for electric power system and energy storage system, aluminum shell prismatic cells are mostly designed with flat connector and need to weld with laser. In order to make more end users to design their own battery pack at home. The flat connector was upgraded with a screw hole, which make it easy to assemble with screws. For example, Seplo's 3.2 volts 50 ampere hour cells, 80 ampere hour cells, and 100 ampere hour cells are designed with a M6 screw hole from the factory at the anode and cathode connector. And for the 206 ampere hour cells, 277 ampere hour cells, as well as 315 ampere hour cells, our current solution is to weld a screw socket onto the connectors with laser so that client could simply connect the cells with screws. Next one is pouch cell. Pouch cell features high energy density and safety. It's widely used in mobile devices. But production process is relatively complex. The most successful manufacturer of pouch cell is leaf battery produced by Nissan. And pouch cell module solution would give those cell a new life. 
Solid state battery uses solid electrodes and a solid electrolyte instead of the liquid or polymer gel electrolytes found in lithium ion or lithium polymer batteries. Materials proposed for use as solid electrolytes in solid state batteries at present is ceramics. Solid state battery technology is of higher energy density by enabling lithium metal anodes. And it is believed to achieve 10 times higher energy density than currently commercial batteries. As most liquid electrolytes are flammable and solid electrolytes are non flammable, solid state batteries are believed to have lower risk of catching fire. Recent studies show that heat generation inside is only 20 to 30 percent of conventional batteries, with liquid electrolyte under thermal runaway. Today, solid state battery is still under research stage. According to some of my engineering friends, although solid state batteries based on inorganic solid electrolytes have clearly demonstrated their great possibilities for electric vehicles and large scale energy storage systems, the current achievements of solid state battery is still required to improve their energy density, rate capability, and cycling stability. Solid state batteries are still far from being commercialized for industrial applications, which require systematical studies and will be a complicated process. Anyway, scientific and technical research on solid state batteries is progressing gradually. Thanks for watching. We hope you guys find this video useful. And we'd love to hear your voice. Leave your comments below. Please subscribe us for more updates. See you next time.